For action, and for that we go to Goodison Park for Everton against the team that started the day at the top of the first division, London's own Queen's Park Rangers. The pictures come from Granada Television. The commentators, Gerald Sinstat, Rangers are the team in the red and white halves. Dobson again, Masson harrying him. Lyons, Hollins tackle didn't take, and Lyons, let's go! Tremendous work there, but Gary Jones was taken by surprise by the first save from Bill Parks. Tremendous drive from all of 30 yards. Parks, on the edge of his six-yard area, did very well to get down and block it with his arm, and Gary Jones, following up, couldn't get it in the net. Francis, Thomas... Clement got into a good position and was given a good pass. Nice little chip across too, and there's the goal from Bowles. Stan Bowles finishing off a very simple move. Thomas playing it on for Clement, who'd got a head into a good position. He'd shown us earlier he could cross the ball. That time he played the little low soft dink and Stan Bowles was running round to tap it into the net. Oh, there'll be a lot of thinking going on on those benches. That's Steve Burtonshaw on the right there with the moustache, the Everton coach. Gary Jones. Goodless. Parks gets in a bunch. The header back in, and it somehow reaches Parks. Parks punched it out. Dobson headed it back in. And there was a deflection which took it straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Goodless. Telfer got a bit of a lucky bounce there and could make the most of it. It's come down to Bernard and he's coming over. Bernard pounds the ground. But he really chance there it was a good cross and an acrobatic leap by Parks punched it out but straight to Bernard and Bernard struck it well over all back I would guess about eight yards Masson and with his first touch of the ball Leach puts it in the net He'd been on the field as long as it took Queen's Park Rangers to line up the free kick. And what a happy man. So simple. Don Masson, an expert with the dead ball, just curving it over the wall. And there, stealing in, was Leach. Nobody picking him up. And in it went. So Rangers stay two points clear at the top, thanks in no small measure to another wonderful display of goalkeeping by Phil Parks, and indeed by the Rangers' defence as a whole. And afterwards, Gerald Sinstat spoke to Phil Parks about Rangers' authority at the back. Yes, I think we've got one of the best defences in the league. They certainly work hard, uh, all the back four. They've played out of their skins all season. And, uh, well, we've, we've let 26 goals in, I think, all season. Right Come away start. from London, you see, and people say, oh, Webb and McClintock in the middle of the back four is not really championship standard. And yet the figures don't back it up, do they? No, no, I mean, Frank's 36, <laughs> Davy Webb's 30. Tremendous amount of experience, but people think, oh, they might be a bit slow. But no, there's no one really caught them out at all this season. They just keep playing on and on. I hope I can keep playing when I'm 36, I saw. <laughs> well, now, what about your own form? You're clearly playing very well this afternoon. Uh, Probably this is the best season I've ever had, um, right from the very start. In pre-season training, I worked very hard to uh, try and improve my game, and it seems to have paid off all season. Uh Phil also uh, pointed out in that interview, and happy to do so, I'm sure, that Rangers really see themselves as championship material now, four at home and three away to come.